Madison is a 2023 graduate of the U.S. Air Force Academy with a degree in physics, a second lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force, a graduate intern at Harvard Medical School. Okay, wow, it just keeps coming. And now she is the reigning Miss 2024 Miss America. So um, I just want to say she is just killing it on all levels, uh, as are so many other of our alumni. But right now, I'd like for you to help me welcome to the stage this amazing woman, Miss Madison Walsh. Well, good evening, everyone. Thank you so, so much for having me. This place, as you're about to hear, is one of the most special places in my heart because all of my dreams and my journey started right here in these halls. So back in 2016, quite a bit of time ago, I stepped into space camp with a burning desire to become an astronaut. I did some of those first missions, I met some lifelong friends, and I came home with a very sick new blue spacesuit. And I couldn't take it off, and I still apparently can't take it off because I actually wore it all day yesterday. <laughs> Those things are very durable. So anyway, I came home, and I was just so excited because Space Camp had changed everything for me. I got to meet astronauts that ignited my dreams of going into space and joining the military. I got to be immersed in the world of STEM because here you're not just learning from textbooks. You're learning from hands-on activities that are putting all of these subjects to life. The experience was so awesome that I forced my parents to send me back in 2017, and I had an even better time. Because here, this is a community that becomes a family where you have like-minded individuals from all across the globe come together. I've got people that I've been texting in my group chat from all of those years ago that we still keep together with our Space Camp family. We shared a common passion for space and science, and I found a place where I could really be myself with no reservations. I could feel a place of belonging, and that was empowering, and it was the lessons here that propelled me really throughout the rest of my career, because Space Camp did more than just fuel my desire and love to go to space, and instilled the courage to achieve my dreams. So because of Space Camp, I did what any young kid would do, and I made like a 30-year-long plan for my entire career. <laughs> so it started out with flying planes, going into the Air Force Academy, joining the military, maybe flying a fighter plane, and then going on to go be a test pilot, and then becoming an astronaut. So I told my parents these plans, and then I had to convince them yet again to let me do something even more fun, which was flying planes. So at the age of 15, inspired by the confidence and knowledge that Space Camp had given me, I began to learn how to fly planes. And I had the honor of getting to learn from a retired F-16 pilot who shared this common sense of joy for space in the military. By 16, I got to do my very first solo flight, and then I got my license right before entering the Air Force Academy. The Air Force Academy was my biggest dream, and I really would not have gone there if I had not spoken to the astronauts here at Space Camp. So in 2019, I went to BASIC and got yelled at a time or two, or a lot, for a very long period of time. <laughs> and then once I had gotten through BASIC, I started to dive more into this plan because I got to check off that first box on this road. And so then I started studying astrophysics started to study gamma ray bursts, telescopes, working with NASA, and I went more and more into this role on this dream that I had had for about eight or nine years now to keep going. But as I kept going deeper into my studies, I had realized that I didn't want to be an astronaut anymore, and I had spent so many years working on it. But it was okay because of the time that I put into being an astronaut and the time that I had set aside and worked hard had opened up other doors for me. And that is what Space Camp taught me. One of the things that I'm really passionate about is pancreatic cancer work. 
I lost my mom in 2018 to pancreatic cancer when she was only 41 years old. She was misdiagnosed, she didn't have any of the symptoms, and that changed my life. So I realized at the Air Force Academy that my true passion wasn't going to space anymore, but it was helping people with pancreatic cancer. And so I understood that my dreams were gonna change, and that's okay. We all outgrow, we all change, and we have to find our true passions. And space camp was where I found the courage to indulge in those true passions and to make a difference. So in 2023, I decided to kind of change courses and instead of going to get a PhD in physics, I decided to apply to Harvard to go continue public policy. I commissioned into the Air Force as a second lieutenant and I embraced my passion and commitment to my nation by not only putting on the uniform, but now going to go help the people that are like my mom and need it the most. So even though that dream of being an astronaut has evolved, it was the foundation that Space Camp provided that remains unchanged all these years later. It was the skills and the confidence and the friends that I made along the way that were instrumental in making me and my friends who we are today. It was my starting point and it was a journey that took lots and lots of unexpected turns along the way but they each taught me the personal and professional growth that I needed to serve. The importance of perseverance, the importance of overcoming the odds in a time where you just don't think you can do it. And through those aspirations shifting from space to different service, the essence of those dreams from space camp are still well and alive today. I stand here and I'm proud to say that space camp is more than a childhood dream. It was a catalyst that propel, propelled a future with purpose and passion. And I think a lot of us in this room can say that too. It's a testament to the power of immersive learning experiences and the importance of nurturing our youth to dream big and reach for well beyond the stars. This is a family here that is so much more than just teaching kids about space. This was leadership development. It was community. It was excitement about STEM and giving you the inspiration to beat all odds. And I know that no matter the path that I take or any of us in the audience, our passion started right here in these halls, in this very place, in the dorms, in the simulators, and maybe even on Moonshot, because I definitely went back and did that today. <laughs> so I just want to say that I'm so honored to be with so many of the greats in the audience tonight. For all of the inductees for the Space Camp Hall of Fame, you are the ones that drive and inspire our next generation, and you are what makes Space Camp what it is. Truly, Space Camp would not be what it is without the volunteers and the people that come back year after year. And Jen, who is my Space Camp trainer, she's somewhere in the audience, she's been with me this whole time. It's people like this that inspire our next generation to keep going. So I just wanna say thank you to everyone, because I owe everything to Space Camp. Everything that I've accomplished started right here. And I come back because you all taught me and teach kids year after year that the sky is not the limit. Thank you very much.